I'm going to give it. All right, go ahead, bro. Well, no, we still see you right now. But we invite you in this house. Yes, Lord. Heavenly host of angels, send your warring angels to this house. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Holy Ghost yes, fire fill this house, Lord. Put your heart and mouth for right now. Let the door was go away unchanged, Lord. Move, God, right now in the name of Jesus. We invite every hindrance in this house right now, Lord. We speak peace. We speak comfort in this house. Move, God, in the name of Jesus. Like I said, people get mad. People get mad because people get blessed with stuff. But then you don't even want to show up to church. When you when you get told there's a word coming for this church. If you was more worried about this church than you was going to Walmart or sitting on your couch watching TV, maybe you get some blessings. Maybe you get some blessings tonight. Maybe it's time for you to stop being like the world and start being like the church is supposed to be. Be in the house of the Lord. Do not deny the, the assembly of yourselves tonight. But don't get mad when somebody gets blessed. And you're standing there wondering why I'm not getting blessed. Go to your job. Go to your job and go two days a week and see how long you're going to stay there. See how you're going to get paid. See if you're going to get back behind and somebody else is going to get it. Honey, he's hard. He's put a word to this church. Let me tell you, pain after pain after pain in our own money, just as hard as I can drive. Just as hard as I can drive for this church. But you're not even willing to show up to hear it. Come on, preach from. You're not even willing to show up to hear it tonight. She put the scripture in. Put that scripture. I got one, one verse on the Bible of what I've got. I'm going to start it and I'm going to finish it with that verse. And this is what's going to hold a whole lot of people. This is what's the matter with a whole lot of people. Stand up and read it with me. Those of you that are here tonight, stand up and read it with me. And I want you to read it out loud. The Lord said, read it out loud. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to, to God must believe that he is, and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Do you diligently seek him tonight? Yeah. And why ain't you here? Why ain't you here? I'm not talking about the ones that's here. I'm talking about the ones that's watching me on Facebook. If this is your church, you should be here tonight. There was a woman that went out today. There was a woman that went out today on the prayer page, and I know everyone can read it. If you're a member of this church, honey, you was in the prayer group. You think you're in the prayer group. You should be able to read it. The Lord will hold you accountable for it. Anything we do, we will get a hell accountable for it. What we don't do, we will get a hell accountable for it. Now, there's probably going to be some mad at me. Right here's the altar, baby, if you're going to get mad. I'm not backing up. I'm not giving up. Because right here, right here is what you're going to get. Right here is what you're going to get forgiveness. Y'all can be seen. This is the title of this. This is your year. But if you don't deal with your seeking, if you can only show up one day a week, if you can only show up two days a week, not for prayer meeting, Thursday night, me and prayer meeting, this house will be full. Every man in this church should be here on Thursday night. You want to get closer? If you stay, you want to get closer. A whole lot of speaking going on, but there ain't a whole lot of walking. There ain't a whole lot of walking in the men in this church. Now, men, don't get mad at me. If you get mad at me, I'll tell you the dog. I'm not going to back down. I got news for you. The men in this house will stand up, take control of their house. Honey, we see a difference. We're supposed to be the men of our houses. We're not supposed to be the tail. We should be so strong. We ain't. I'm sorry. You get mad at me, I hear the dogs. I'm just being what God told me to be. He gave me a backbone for a reason. He gave me he gave us leadership for a reason. This year is your year of fruitfulness. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what he said? Let me take that back. It ain't what I said, honey. I'm just writing down what he said. Somebody better hear me. This is your year of fruitfulness. This is your year. Remember that, remember that saying right there. This is your year. But it's going to require a few things. It's going to require a few things from us. We ain't going to sit back on our couches, watch our TVs. 
play our video games, it's going to take some praying. It's going to take some fast. It's going to take some assembling yourselves in the house of God and get some word in you. It's not from the pastors, not from the youth pastors, not from the associate pastors, not from the uh, music ministry. It's going to take you. It's going to take you. It's going to take you. It's going to take you digging in it. It's going to take us all digging in it. Honey, he said, if you want it, you got to think you got to, what did it say? Diligent. What does that, what does that mean? That means sit back on your couch and watch TV. Let's just get on Facebook while the, while, while the preaching's going on. No, no. no. The same message your neighbor while the preaching's going on. No. And I got news for you. I thought I'll read this live tonight because I want you to hear it. I don't care who it goes to. If it goes up one side down the other, honey, get better smack you when it goes to the head. The Lord's wanting you to get ready. The Lord's wanting you to come. The Lord's wanting you to be ready when He comes. When He sends that blessing, He's wanting you to receive it. It just wasn't meant for, for us. It was meant for everybody. But honey, you've got to do something. You've got to do something. All right, I'm trying, I'm trying to read this, y'all. But it's going to require some things of you. More praying, more fasting, more worshiping. You can't just go through this year like every other year. I'm telling you this. This is our year. This is our year. Absolutely. Amen. Got it. I mean, you still got the key. I got it. I got a bone. I mean, you still got the key. What are we going to do with that key? The Lord said, I want all the doors. Do you have your key ready? Like you said, you never know that it's going to pop up and you need to go on through it. But if I've got to run back to the house and get my key, that door's going to, that door's going to disappear. Do we understand that? Do we understand that tonight? Those of you out there on Facebook that's listening, do you have your key ready? Have you got it out ready to go into the door when he said, go in? Or well, we got to run back to the house and get it. Let me tell you something, if you got to run back to the house and get it, that door's going to be gone. He's going to give it to the next one. Just like that blessing, because you didn't show up that night. He's going to give it to somebody else. That's willing, that's sold out. That's sold out for God. That's willing to go through a little, little fire. Let them go through a little hell. Who's willing to go through it? To get you blessing. Because we never know when he's going to pour it. This might be the night for them to let you be blessed, but I decided to stay home and watch TV. The drive was a little too far. You got brothers and sisters here that will give you gas money if you need it. That ain't no excuse. What are you going to do when you stand in front of God? Well, I can't make it there because there's no gas. Well, don't you have a church? Don't you have a family? Sorry. You get mad at me, you're sorry. You don't come back, that's between you and God. But the Lord said, I'm tired. I, I'm, not, I'm not playing games anymore. He said, it's too close. He said, if you ain't ready, you're going to be left behind. He said, if you ain't ready, you're going to be left behind. You better hear me. You better hear me tonight. <clears throat> this is the year. Turn to your neighbor. Get your neighbor by the hand. Every one of you in here should be holding hands with one another. Look at your neighbors and tell your neighbors, this is our year, but it's going to require some stuff from us. It's going to require some stuff. It's going to require more prayer. It's going to require, require more fasting. It's going to require more, more worship from whenever we're in this house. I will not be slack. I will not be slack in my prayer when I'm not here. If I say I'm praying, I better get on my knees and pray. If I can't get on my knees and pray, honey, I better lift my head to God and say, Here I am, Lord, hear me while I'm driving. That's what I do. If He's required of me, it's required of you. Amen. Now that you know, it's on yours that you don't. This is our year. Let's receive it. We gotta pray when we don't feel like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We gotta pray when we're sick.
sick. We got to pray with all hell around us is broke loose. Because if all hell broke loose around us, what's going to change? Our prayer is going to change, right? When our kids are going wild, what's going to change? We just got to hold on because this is our year. All that sickness, all that sickness, this is our year. It's going to be broke. It's going to be broke. When we don't think the finances are going to come around, this is our year to receive it. This is our year to take it. This is our year to claim it. But you got to have faith. Because without it, it's impossible to please God. And if we please God, guess what he's going to do? He's going to pull out that blessing. Amen. And we've got our keys. And we've got our keys ready to walk through that door. When he sends your blessings on the other side of that door, just know where to go. Are we ready? Are we ready? I'm ready. Because let me tell you something. Since 21, it ain't been nothing but a battle. Every time we turn around, it's been a battle. This is our year for Christmas. This is our year for blessing. This is our year. We got to respect it. We got to have faith that He's going to do exactly what He said that Bible was going to do. And He will. As long as we keep our faith in Him, we can't put our faith in man. We can't put our faith in man. We got to put everything in us in the Lord God Almighty. If we put it in man, man will fill us. We got to have faith. Say it, this is our year. God's calling us to stand. God's calling us 
to be his hands and feet while we're here. Amen. <clears throat> Keep telling yourself this. When they want to sit, I'm going to stand. When they want to walk away, I'm going to stand. Because the Lord says, those that are faithful will stand. Those that are faithful will deal with the sin. But those that are playing, they will show up. Those that are playing, they will show up for prayer meeting. Those that are playing won't show up for service. But then they want to pout. They want to pout. Because they're not getting blessed. Why would the Lord want to bless you when you won't even show up for Him? Amen. Come on. Amen. There's a Sunday, that Sunday, Sunday 12 o'clock, Sunday 7 o'clock, Monday 7 o'clock prayer meeting, Wednesday night service, uh, singers has got a, a, pra or a prayer. practice prayer, whatever you want to call it, prayer 7 o'clock Tuesday, uh, Thursday night, there's a men's uh, prayer meeting. Don't tell me you don't know about it. Yeah. Now that you know it, you're accountable. Hear me tonight. Now that you know all this stuff, whether you might have thought you forgot about it, you know about it, you're going to be held accountable for it. If you get mad at me over it, there's God. The Lord said, if you want me, you'll seek me. If you want me, you'll diligently seek me. How bad do you want it tonight? How bad do you want it on Wednesday tonight? How bad do you want it on Tuesday tonight? How bad do you want it on Monday night? How bad do you want it on Sunday at 12, Sunday at 7? How bad do you want it? Is he worth it? Is he worth going through a little stuff that I've got to drive a little bit? Or I've got to do this or I've got to do that? Is he worth it to you? Then don't pass when somebody gets a blessing. Because we're supposed to lift that person up. We're supposed to be happy for that person. We're supposed to be happy for that person when they get a blessing. Not pass. Pat comes from the devil. Amen. Yes. Plain and simple. Amen. You don't like it? Talk to God about it. Talk to God about why you're not getting your blessings. Let him explain to you if you're not going to listen to me. If you're not going to listen to Pastor Stephanie, Come you're on. not going to listen to Lindsay. Come on. Talk to God about it. Come on, man. Talk to God about why you're not getting blessed. Amen. Why you don't ever have no money. Amen. Talk to him about it. Are you paying your tithes in the church? Are you, bringing, are you bringing God to the storehouse? That's fine. Honey, that ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's fine. That's fine. Somebody look it up and read it to them. That's fine. That ain't nothing to do with me. I don't need your money. I don't take your money. What money comes in here, honey, goes to God. Nothing comes to me or Pastor Stephanie. Nothing. We don't want nothing because this is free. Freely in the gift. Freely I'm supposed to give it, Brother Earl. Do we believe that tonight? They, they, they share the thing on take the money out of it and see how far the preaching goes. Let me tell you how far the preaching goes. I'll do exactly what the Lord tells me to do. He tells me to get up and preach. I'll preach. He tells me to go to the street and preach. I'll go to the street and preach. I don't need your money. Do we believe that tonight? Take the money out of the preacher and see how much preaching he does. This is my year, oh God. Stay with me. Stand up and say it with me. Show the Lord you mean it. Show the Lord you want his blessings tonight. Show him you mean what you're saying out of your mouth. Show him you mean it. This is my year, oh God. This is my year, oh God. Bless my family. Bless my family. Bless my church. Bless my church. Bless those that, that, that need blessing. Bless those that need blessing. Send us, Lord. Send us, Lord. Send us, Lord. Lord. Please send Listen, I know, I know you feel like things are never going to change in our family, but I, I've been there. I feel like it all the time, nothing's never going to change. But then I get smacked upside the head. Look where I brought you from. Look where I brought you from. <clears throat> but I hear the Spirit say, hold on, this is your ear. This is our year. Just hold on. on. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> but this year, I'm going to break off some things. I'm going to fix some, fix some things in your family. I'm going to set you free from bondage that you don't even realize that has you. This is your year. Just hold on. Yes, Lord. 
I know we feel like sickness has rule in our bodies. But the Lord said, how can I use you in my body if I can't make you overcome sickness? This generation we're living in has to see stuff. See, this generation ain't like the old generation. They believe. This generation has to see. They yeah. have to touch. Come on. Yeah. If they see us get sick, and they know we're sick, and then how can you make it? How can you go on? Come on. Yeah. The Lord says, if I can't show them how you can go on, even though you tell them your prayer, you're still sick, but you keep pushing. That's right. You keep pushing. He said, maybe they will believe. Yeah. Maybe they'll believe that I'm in it. So if we, if we think sickness is overtaking us, just hold on, baby. This is our years. Come on. Just Come hold on. on. This is our year. It hasn't overtook us. Come on. It's only made us stronger. Because if you don't remember when we put the mask on our immune system, our immune system got a little down. Come on, man. He said, but how can I make you stronger if I don't take your immune system and I, I turn it back to mine, what I made it? So if we go through a little sickness, just hold on. He said, I'm done. Hold on. I'm right there in the middle of it. Just hold on. This is your year. <clears throat> we, as believe, we as believers have to be tried, but I'm telling you this, just hold on. This is your year. The enemy is lying to you, lying to the people. This is your year of breakthrough. Just hold on. Stop believing his lies. This is your your, your year of fruitfulness. Yeah. Have you been planting your gardens? Have you planted that garden? Have you seen nothing out of it? He said it's coming. Your fruit's coming. This is your year of winning. Being the head and not the tail. Above and, and not beneath. Somebody give the Lord a shout tonight. Hallelujah! Yeah. Do a few things. 
Get a little bit stronger with that walk. Get a little bit closer because we can have all we want or we can get as far away as we want. Right. And I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to be flat playing when we get out this cemetery. Honey, that probably don't even feel the heat anymore. Come on. Come on. Probably don't even feel the heat anymore. Come on now. You can get mad at me if you want to turn me off. Turn me off. I don't care. The Lord said, if you want me to bless you, why won't you show up at my house? If you want me to bless you, why won't you show up at my house and pray me tonight? Why won't you show up at my house on, on church tonight? One day a week ain't going to cut it anymore, guys. One day a week is not going to cut it anymore. Excuses ain't going to cut it. said this is the year of breakthrough. This is the year of fruitfulness. The fruit that you've been planting. Are you willing? Are you willing to do what it takes to get it? Are you willing to have enough in you to stand when they say you can't? Stand to your feet. I want us all to shout. This is our year. I want us to shout it. I want us to believe. I want us to do just like that scripture right there says. I want us to believe when we speak it. We're speaking over our families. We're speaking over our lost loved ones. I want us to speak it so loud that we shake the gates of hell. That we shake those demons that's trying to come against us. Them, those principalities in the air. I want us to shake it. I want us to penetrate it through. And I want us to let, let God know we mean business. I want us to let the devil know we mean business tonight. While you shout, get your key up. Hold your key up and say, Lord. I'm ready to walk through that door. I'm ready to walk through that door. I'm ready, I'm ready to surrender everything to you, Lord. Are we ready? This is our year. This is our year. We're ready to walk through that door. We break, we break everything off of our families right now. We break everything off of our families right now. Every principality in the air. I cut this year up and now. And I'm shouting it out to the God. I'm shouting it out to Jesus.
Let's show him what he means for you, centurion. Because he will bless us if we do. He will bless those that, that diligently seek him. Amen. He will pour out Hallelujah. blessings on us that we don't know we, we didn't even deserve. Yes, Lord. And, his, and his word tells us that. He will bless us. But he wants, he wants sacrifice. He wants, he's wanting obedience. When he comes to our prayer life, when he comes to our studying together, when he comes to us praying together, he wants obedience. I love you tonight. Like I said, if you get mad at me, come to the altar.